Another day, another Zoomer fails, right? Or is it a fail? Zoomers are apparently buying loads and loads of watches. 41% of Zoomers acquired a luxury watch in the last 12 months. Wait, what? That's brand new to me. I don't recall being that rich. The only watch that I got is this Casio. According to one of my coworkers, who was a watch collector, was actually fake. That said, it was perfectly fine when I brought it swimming. The same can't be said of my S23 Ultra, who dipped and broke to pieces. And of course, they're buying Rolex. It's the one brand that everyone go to for the watches. It's not even their money. They're willing to go to debt for pre-owned watches that cost thousands of dollars. Community notes came in and said that if the numbers are true, that would mean the numbers are 500% of the actual value of the global watch market. In other words, the stats are most likely warped, so we aren't that rich. How can these Zoomers buy these expensive watches when they don't know how to take screenshots? I don't get you people. Like, you really don't know how to take a screenshot that you have to ask a bot to do it? This kept on popping up all the time, and it really boggled my mind. Do you people not know how to screenshot with your phone? Here's a quick and dirty tutorial for Samsung peers. Press the volume down button and the power button at the same time. Boom, you just screenshot at whatever sessions you got. If you are on Windows, press the Windows key Shift then S. In Mac, it's Shift Command 3, 4, 5, depending on your needs. You can also screenshot through your browser. All browsers have their own screenshotting functionalities. Edge lets you take a full page screenshot. It's super neat and people should use it more often. Samsung's screenshot feature also lets you paint all over it and take more screenshots scrolling down. So to all these people screenshotting with bots, stop relying on them and start using the functionalities that came free with every smartphone in existence. Before we get to more hoopless, here's a statue of a big monkey. Also, huge thanks to all these wonderful sponsors. You're all fantastic. If you want to see your names among these legends, then check out the links down below. Just one dollar and you have supported this channel a lot. Seriously, thank you so much. And now let's talk about gaming. This person says that the best game developers in the past were well-read people who didn't actually play that many games. That's because back then there weren't a lot of games to take inspiration from. Take, for example, Hideo Kojima, whose primary inspiration for a lot of his games are movies and TV shows. Kojima has designed games since the NES era, so he has a reason why movies and TV shows are his primary inspiration. Nowadays, video games are the inspirations. Has EA made any good SimCity game as of late? The last good one was 4. Thank you, City Skylines. The last Thief was a wreck, but Dishonored was there when Thief wasn't. Any good Castlevania game as of late? No, but we have Bloodstain, Stardew Valley, Retro Shooters, Metroidvania. They wouldn't exist without the originators of the genre. There are many indie games out there that are made with passion and inspiration from other games. Nothing sad about that. And to compare them with AI is just plain wrong and pretentious. Say what you want about those game developer auteurs, at least they're not scared of what they make. This is a bizarre thing to make for producers of video games with guns. I honestly don't think I could work on a game that glorifies or fantasize modern guns. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Rainbow Six. Yes, the producer of Halo said this. Why couldn't you work on games with modern guns? Because you can't separate fiction with reality? I don't get it. Is it still fiction at the end of the day? Also, my brother comments that he has never seen anyone who abbreviated Rainbow Six as RB6. Is this R6? But yeah. I've had moments I've struggled with Halo, but the weapons and world is pretty sci-fi, which creates a large enough separation from reality. Not really. There are still weapons designed to kill people in long ranges, but this is a subjective opinion anyway. So if you think that it can't be separated from reality, that's too bad. Fiction is still fiction. Plain and simple. Video games are fun. People play video games to not getting stressed out. There are many things that people do for that, but some people don't grasp the foreign concept that some things are just done for fun. There's a certain bizarre mindset that people have where grinding for profit is all that they need to make it through life. A longtime friend of DOP who was in his mid 50s hosted a guy's night where there are 50 plus guys in here and they roasted meat. Sounds like a freaking awesome time if you ask me, but he is baffled that he doesn't sell anything. Yes, that's called hanging out. Congratulations for just now finding out about that very hard to grasp concept. Why would he throw his party? Apparently, he threw a party to connect with friends. Yes, that's what people usually do when they throw parties. They make connections with people. They make new friends, something that I am not interested at all. But if you're into that, good for you. To all these people that think that grinding and profit and work are all the only things that matter, just remember the good old power of friendship. 
if you have friends, that is. But the thing about friends is that they all have different tastes. Some tastes are worse than others. I don't understand why anyone would want this. If you love your hobbies, you should enjoy sharing them with others and help others discover the joys you have. Yeah, no. No, thank you. Even to the people that I'm really close to, I don't really share my hobby with them. I'm perfectly aware of their taste. I'm aware of the things they like and the things they don't. I work around that to figure out what best suited their tastes. So no, I'm not sharing the things I like to even the closest of people. Those people have their own free will for the things that they like. Let your hobbies grow and grow with them. Nah, I'm good. The last time our hobbies grow, people try to change them to something they're not. I don't mind changes that are actually good. Standardized controller support for all games is a wonderful change. However, the game that's known for fan service suddenly turning chase because of esports? Yeah, not letting that happen again. It does suck that our hobbies have turned to crap, but that doesn't mean that you have to lose hope. Good games do come out once in a while. They're just not as frequent as we hoped and not as good as we expected. Just have a realistic expectation. Make fun of the bad, but also take the good as well. Or else, you'd be this person. This is a wild mindset to have. Genuinely, whatever joy I feel will be interrupted with sad thoughts of the world's suffering. Wow, you have such great empathy for the plight of the world and everyone who live in it. How about you go help them instead of whining and bitching on social media? I do not get why you do not feel this, too. I, as all people with the ability to push it away. Because if we do, we would be miserable. And we chose not to be miserable. I am just honest about it being there and the sheer horror of it. I hope you will, too. Yeah, that's the thing about honesty. It's like telling an orphan that they're parentless. It's honest, but it doesn't help. If we do not wake up, we are all doomed. And that means freeing Palestine. It means ending a future idiotic Cold War. It means avoiding disaster. I'll take the heat for my beliefs. Okay, here's one heat. You're a miserable wreck, and people should not adhere to your beliefs if they don't want to be as miserable as you. Speaking of brain rot, here's an alleged brain rot. This is an odd thing to harp on about. Imagine if women couldn't wear makeup. I see nothing wrong with both pictures. Honestly, if you think that most women look like the one on the left, you are huffing way too much sim juice and need to snap back to reality. Porn brain has rotted so many people's minds they forget that women are indeed human and normal looking. Nope, it's not porn, because most people don't watch porn, and the ones that do, know that porn is not real. Nothing is wrong with that, but they hold them to this insane standard because of society and porn. Society does have a certain beauty standard, but it's not men that set them. It's women. Most women do not post on social media for men. They post on social media for themselves. There are exceptions, but most of them just want to look good because it feels good to look good. Also, this person has a fansly, another form of OnlyFans. This is one of those exceptions because men just loves being an utter simp. But if there's one thing that you shouldn't be another simp for, it's the girls of this game. Oh god, this game. A video game convention named Too Many Games was selling an Xbox copy of The Guy Game for a staggering $250. Oh my god, this game. This game is awful. Not only you shouldn't buy this game for $250, you shouldn't buy this game for any price. In fact, you should burn any copy of this game to the ground. Not because the game is horrible even though it is horrible. It's just a trivia question compilation game featuring girls that will show their tits. No, you shouldn't watch this on YouTube either. I don't know if it's there, and I don't want to take my internet history for searching this game. Why? Because one of the girls featured that flashed their tits out lied about being of age. So this game technically counts as child pornography. I am dead serious. Thankfully, too many games were immediately notified about it and confiscated a copy of this game. It should be dumped into freaking lava. And that's all for the video today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more. Don't forget to check out my ABB Show stream channel, link down below, go subscribe as always. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.